Hey, what up, YouTube? This is Mo Butters back again on the Stone Cold Kicks channel, and we got another sick lit beater box battle for you today. Over here. One to rock, one to stock. Rock them, stock them, kicks in the building. In the building, and we got another sick lit beater box battle for you today. We got two Soul Supremacy boxes here, and they're not the same cost, but we're gonna pop them beater box style anyway. One of these is $1,040, the other one is $540. It's the, four, the extra 40 is like the shipping charge, so it's basically a $1,000 box versus a $500 box. Once we get to popping them and showing you the contents, you'll probably be able to decipher which out. one was the higher box, but let us know in the comments which box you think was higher or which box you just uh, would rather cop, you know, for the flipping purposes, because that's what we do. We get all these shoes in a bulk quantity and then we flip them, sell them individually to turn a profit. Right. So let's get into it, man. Yeah, get right we into it. every week. Uh, we get them popped off. Links below. You can always check. I know you'll see something you'll say, something you want, something you might be looking for. Yep. There's plenty of uh, deals to be had and just, just shoes, man. Shoes, shoes, shoes. For sure, man. Shoes in the links below. Check the description when you're shopping for shoes. We got all the eBay stores down there. And if you need a shoe from this video, you can slide into the DM on yeah, Instagram. Yeah, so I'll get it popping over here. I have a little pair of Lucy's and some little feet heat. Tucked down, we got some bread. 11 lows, black and reds. These are very good condition. This is the little feet heat size. It's small. It looks like a youth size. I'll tell you for sure right now. Looking like a six and a half. Youth, six and a half. Youth. Small feed heat. Them breads. Mm -hmm. Check the condition. Looking fire. I don't even know if they're worn. These might be Lucy's with no box. Brand new dead stock. Just never worn. Just no box. Bread 11. Lows, size six and a half. Why? Let me know. Right, so, I got some Nike. What you got? Dunk Premium SB. Dunk That's Cream. Awesome. And these are looking rocked maybe one time. Very good condition. Very good condition. Get that paper off. You got that. the orange. It's got the interior. It's got the orange. And it's got the. It's like a little shoe box. Shoe box. Yes. Let me get them laced. Those insoles are stacks of shoe boxes. Those are cool. Yeah, I've seen these before Those and cool some insoles. other dunks that I had. You know what I'm saying? Stacks of Nike boxes. And then on the side right there, it has a little. Yeah. Like debossed. Oh, um, shoe box i think that's like a shoe box logo so these are pretty cool man yeah, those are cool. orange colorway cool SBs. Um, what size are they size nine yeah size nine so and barely rock maybe once twice so these are good no creasing those orange shoe box sbs all right keeping it moving jordan what we got size eight wide it's eight youth kind of a big bigger size for a youth what we got here some of these babies these like the vivid vibrant pinks yeah vivid pink Jordan number 12s, pink and white, pretty cool. Definitely a girl shoe, nice yeah. for a girl. This is a size eight. So this is kind of a bigger foot for a girl, but they are going for sale. Right person gonna find these and cop. These are brand new dead stock, yeah. yep. Never worn, them 12 vivid pinks. Let me know if you need these or cop them for your chick. Got these. All right, so I got, oh man, what we got? Size nine and a half. Ooh, what you got? Jordan three. Let's Jordan just see what they are. Card. Where's it going? Chippy. Okay, that happens. Chippy. Got some fire, fire red. Fire three. red. Chippy. 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 Looking good. That's gonna happen for sure. So I got the fire red three, size nine point five. There is some chipping action going on, but other than that, the creasing isn't too bad on the shoe. Looking um, good. Bottoms are good. Stars are still somewhat intact, but these are in good use condition. It's just, it's just some chipping going on on this one. Um, Y'all can check out the bottoms. And the interior cool. is nine and a bad. half. So a nine and a half. Uh, fire red three. And that's the old. One. All right, all right. What we got here? Some pink box. Like to dig deep and get that pink box. Dig, so, get your shovel out. Get it, get it. What we got? Some of these the blue and white SBs, old version. This is like a nice suede on that's here. I was just about to say, that's a good one. You can check this out suede. real fast. Let me check the condition. Looking brand new. I don't think these are ever worn. No. Brand new dead stock. Fire. Got, this key chain. got the cool keychain. Extra laces. That's pretty cool. 20 year anniversary. Extra laces. 
So these are pretty cool, DS. Yeah, these are Sport Royal Dunk Highs. Sport. That's a size <laughs> nine, yeah. <laughs> sport. <laughs> but these are the Sport Royals uh -huh. with the keychain, dead stock condition. Let's check the gear real fast while I got them out because these are pretty old with the pink box to be brand new, dead stock from 2005. 05. Pretty nice, pretty Old nice. Fanball. Some vintage heat yeah, right here, pretty brand nice. new. Blue and white, let me know. That was a size nine. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, got the big Jordan box. Big box. So obviously it's probably Oversized box. I don't know why they did this with these 12s. They oversized it. There's and they also have there. a little cardboard thing that they don't have that in yeah. these, but. This is still some fire here. I kind of like these, but I don't. I mean, it's I personally. Jim Red Twelve. Jim Red Twelve. And these are in good, uh, good condition. Mm -hmm. These condition. I may as well see all the other one. So this is a uh, Jordan Twelve size Twelve. Jim Red Twelve size Twelve. And uh, the leather on here is pretty good. Yeah. Shiny. Nice Clean. leather. No scuffs. And these haven't been worn much at all, man. To be honest with you. Like Looking he said, good. no scuffs. Check out the backs. The jump in and on the top. Uh, pull tabs you know, just let me know if you need them they're going for sale soon but these are very nice in my opinion and 12s let's see i got a pair of j's to match you up for this round let's see what we got this looks like a size 11 and a half so he got some i red. got some more red and white fire so if you like red hit us up what size are those these are 11 and a half Close. and they run pretty pretty big too so yeah, they, they might do. fit a size 12. Fit a 12. these are the carmine sixes they're used there's a couple little dirt spots on there. Just on the back, I'm pretty sure I can get that off. A little dirt on the front and on the bottom where you walk on dirt. But I'll get that all clean. Probably clean those laces up too because they look a little dirty. And get these for sale. Size 11 half Carmine 6s. One of the best pair of J's. One of my favorites for sure. Let me know if you need these. All right, so I got a pair of three stripes. Three stripes of these is what we got here. Samba. Got Naked Samba. Samba. Naked. I've never seen these. These are brand new dead stock. I got a pair of those for right. sale in the links below. Those are ugly as heck. In Look like opinion. a mint green. Like yeah, a mint like, green or something. What's right? the color say? With the ostrich. Samba. Naked. Yeah, it's with the ostrich. I ain't like The ostrich kind of skin. Yeah. So somebody need these. I can see somebody rocking. But it has a set of white laces. If Looking you know brand new. Like these are definitely attached. brand new. Yeah. Laces attached, gone bottom. Um, I didn't say the size, so what size are these? Ten and a half, size ten and a half samples. Naked. Ten and a his half. Let's see if I can match your ugly Adidas with some more <laughs> ugly Adidas. Check. I might even have you beat. What we got? What uh, we got? Some of these. Oh my God. Oh yeah. These are some bootleg kind of calabasas. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. That's what Jeez. I thought it was until I saw the called the Continental. I haven't seen those before. I don't know. Somebody likes these. Jesus. This is a low top black leather shoe, and these are brand new dead stock. Nobody did it to them. Nobody even did it. Adidas. These look like the Calabasas. Pretty close. They do look like that's what I thought it They're was. They're almost better than the Calabasas to me. Because I really yeah. got some dislike for the Calabasas. But they are they are size 10 and a half Continental Adidas. Brand new. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm on the Jordan brand. Get it. Look like some threes. Threes. Yeah, boy. Yeah. With the Jumpman. Yeah, this is the older, older one with the Jumpman. With the leather on these are obviously, it's like a shinier leather mm -hmm. that's on these besides the uh, 2018 release with the Nike on the back. But uh, I'll show you both. I don't really like that shiny leather. Yeah, I know you did. Size 10. I kind of like, it's cool with me. It's all right with me. I don't really dislike it. But uh, this is a size 10. My bad if I understand. But uh, they're in good used condition, man, to be honest. Somebody had a pop it's a classic for sure. It's definitely a classic and it should be an easy sale. One of the best J's. You know what I'm saying? So this is a, uh, uh, I just want to check because I know they came out a few. I just want to make sure we're released. It's the 2011 release. BC3s. Sure. The Jumpman. Yeah. So, and they're in good use condition. Like I said, it's not too much creasing. Not too much chipping in the paint. You know we always got to check that. So let me know if you need them. No. All right, all right. I put those in the middle. Got this Adidas box and it says Adidas Consortium nice Series. Kicks. Nice kicks. Got the nice kicks. See what we got. Ooh, Ooh, dang. Some of these, these are the nice kicks, NMDs. These are super fire. This is looking like a size nine. The extra laces in there. These are one of the most hyped up pairs of NMDs I could think of. 
if not the most hype pair. These are pretty cool. Got the crazy tie-dye on them. I've never had these in hand. We've never had them in the house. I know about them, though. They're pretty fire. It's the Nice Kicks collaboration with Adidas. These are in very good use condition. Now, I know these are expensive kicks. Let me just double check that this is a size 9. Correct, this is a size 9. Looking good, looking good. Show this one off since they're so high valued. Hopefully I'll get a purchaser off this video. Size 9, right, the open. Nice Kicks NMDs. These are crazy heat. Yeah, and it's got the Nice Kicks logo on the, on the tongue and on the back stripe. Yeah. It's been warm, but very good overall. The boost is very clean. I don't see any dirt on it which is you know uh good because that boost doesn't come clean very well these are these are hot fire for sure number one spot probably on this box booyah that money maker of the box yeah let's get it. i don't know if i'm gonna follow it up but yeah you we'll gotta just pull something got, what man. you got what you got it's your last box over there enjoy. no i still got another oh, okay. one so i'll let you Keep still got rolling. another one and another one. Oh, I got some Jordan. That's a good pair. This is a cool pair of powder. I, I like these. Powder man. tens. I swear they don't get much respect though. They don't no, sell don't very why, high, man. but they're fire. Before this specific pair retro, like recently, a couple years ago, that city pack, that, that pair was going crazy, like three, four, five hundred dollars. Oh, yeah, it was. But now those barely sell for like a hundred. Yeah, that's crazy. Cause I like these. These actually did came come out back in the day. Too. Right. They should go ahead and drop the rest of the city pack. The yeah. Seattle Supersonics color, the New York Knicks color. Right. This was the Orlando Magic color. I just think these are cool, man. These are a cool ten. I'm not really right. a fan of tens. Obviously, he's not either. But right. I actually like these, though. Yeah, that's one of my favorite tens for Let sure. Let me see what size. I don't know. Nine and a half, size. man. I might grab these, those. Yeah. No butter size. Fresh pair too. And they're good. Looking good. I like these, man. I'll fool with those two powder blue tins. All right, I got two more pairs over here. What we got here? This look like a CNY Adidas box, just from the looks of it. We'll get it popping. Let's see. Looks like they purchased from GOAT. And this is the CNY Ultra Boost. Let's check the condition. Um, I don't know. We can check this one out. Let me inspect. These are have been rocked once. Maybe once. That's it. Yeah, tiny yeah. sign of dirt on the bottom, and yeah, the lace is. bag is detached. So I think they were worn once. Yeah. And CNY Ultra Boost. These used to go for a high, high dollar, but now they kind of lost some steam, and there's no hype for them anymore. But it's still a nice shoe. A cool Ultra Boost. Cool colorway. It's like red and black. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. I like these for an Ultra Boost. The CNY, and this is that size nine. Size nine US. Wait, it's like eight and a half. Yeah, it's size eight. Good. Eight and a half, my baby. Nah. It's because on the box it says eight UK, yeah. and usually for Nike that would signify a size nine, but with Adidas it's different. Sure. It's not a full size. I noticed Puma does that too. They put they, they put their sizes in a different spot, um, so it can fool you too. So right, try and trick people. Trick, trickeration, bamboozle. Yeah. All right, I got one more box, and you got one more box. One so more. This is one like versus a one. Beat Jordan box. Hopefully the shoes aren't beat. Box does that beat is the inside heat. Eleven point five. Let's see. It. Beat Ooh. versus beat. Beat box, beat, on beat, beat kicks. Beater box battle. That's a nice shoe, but those are beat. That specific pair. Woo! Let's check out the heel drag. Smoky I mean, City. So orange mile. Let's just keep it real. Got the heel drag. Um, I still <laughs> clean them up, but they're gonna be beat. Yeah, going for sale for the low. But I, yeah, they're not gonna be listed for high. But like yeah. you said, it's still a good pair. It's but a little life left. And you know them. what? No soul separation. But beat box. Beat 13s. One man trash is the next man's trash. and a half. Exactly. Because people, you can do some work with yeah, these. And like I said, if it's no, as long as it's no soul separation, you can still do still some Still a things. solid Jordan. So it's a still a solid Somebody Jordan. Somebody might not have ever had no pair of J's in their life. That could For be their real. number one pair. And what's crazy is it's not really no creasing on the toe box. Though. Right. You see that? I see that. For real. It's not really no look crease. bad. The bottoms are just smoked. It's just really the heel drag. He was, -carts and yeah, he was dragging the heck out of them feet, man. Mm -hmm. So size 11 and a half, uh, and I get, it's definitely gonna be a good price for these. Yeah, gotta go for the low. Okay, ending it off, what we got here? Check it out, zoom in. Nine and a half. Check this box out. I know I recognize what it is. A few short seconds, I'll show you. You, know you don't already know. It's, it's gonna take and, him about a year or two to open a box. Black and blue block, yeah. But we know what it is. But he's opened so many of these boxes that it it's gonna probably be. It's nothing for me. I'll make it fast. I'll make it go fast. So I'll get these. This is not my first pair of these. I actually copied these on release day. I remember. Five. You need another pair? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Waiting up north. I got these uh, when I lived in the city. I was on the north side. I went to Foot Locker up there on Howard Street. 
And it, back then it was like the sleeper spot because it was only like me and like two Asian dudes waiting in line uh -huh. for these. Yeah, big shout out to the North Side. Mm -hmm. Foot Locker, when these came out, was that 2011? I was waiting in line. It was a cold winter day. It was like the 20 something of December. I went and got these, grabbed them, secured the pair, got mine, but I rocked them a few times. This I is think these came out in old nine. This one oh yeah, nine. you're right. You're old right. nine. Old nine release. It was back back in the day already. Yeah. These are them jams though. Older Jam. release, not the newest release, the second newest release. Got the inserts in here. It's that size nine and a half, very good use condition, but the 11s always get discolored on the bottom. After a few years, whether you wear them or not. But this is still a hot fire pair. This was once my favorite pair, like in my collection when I had got them in 09. I mm -hmm. coveted them too hard. I didn't wear them enough. And then they started Jam. to have sole separation when I wear them. Oh, I man. still have my pair, but the toe cap is a little bit loose. So I can't wear them very much. I could just wear them like slightly for a couple hours or around the house. Wow. These are them jams though. The 09 release, nine and a half. They'll probably go for sale. If they don't sell, I might keep them, but I already have my old pair, so don't really need them. Yeah, why not? Somebody else out there, y'all need them. And these are in good condition, man, for real. I'll still leave the nice kick in the top spot and I'll put the jams right there. That's a good way to complete your box, man. Yep, pretty fire. I think I still got some jams for, uh, for sale on my side, too. So. Nice way to Check end it. it. We always yeah. got at least a pair of jams yeah, or two. Stay with some jams. On all them links below. I got a few of my size that are not even posted because they're the personals. Mm hmm. So thanks for tuning in to another sick lit beater box battle here on the Stone Cold Kicks channel. Thanks for supporting the channel. Get those sub numbers up because we're going to have the next giveaway at 6K subs. 6,000 subs going to be a big giveaway. I might even make it a little contest to hype it up a little bit and make it more fun. But either way, 6K subs going to be a giveaway popping soon. And then another giveaway and another giveaway because you know how we do it on the Stone Cold Kicks and channel. Another one. Another one. Boom. I'm gonna go ahead. On feed. Slide so, into it. Bro, gotta, you gotta do it. Man, you gotta take them both off. Man. Oh. Don't disrespect the West like that, man. man we can't. got some, we got some West Coast viewers out there too. Yeah. Far you gotta West take Coast them both folks. out. Take These them both are off. the Supreme um, Air Force One mids with yes. all the NBA collab and uh, the way these shoes are set up. This left shoe right here, this is the West Coast. We got like a bunch of the West Coast teams: Lakers, Spurs, all that Portland. Suns, bunch of the West Coast teams. Then the right shoe, that's it's the East Coast. Got that Bulls right on the front, right on the toe. Yeah, I had to get these because basically my two favorite teams are right up front in the forefront of the shoe. The Bulls, of course, and then the Spurs is one of my secondary teams, mainly because the colors, I like them a lot. But the Bulls, that's the hometown, baby. You know how I do it. Through the Lakers on the, on the big shoes. Yep, got New the York big, and LA, through some big market the, cities on the, right along yep, the shoes. Big so, teams, big right on the side team. panel. Yep. It's just a hot fire pair. There's not many shoes like this with a bunch of decals on it. I like all those. The more crest, the better. Crest me up. Yeah, so that's what cool. I got on feet heat today. That interior is pretty tight too. The insole got a bunch of teams on it. The Nike Supreme. Oh, yeah, sure it's pretty cool. With the team. Right? That's pretty cool, man. Yeah. Souped up. What you got? All right. So I uh, threw on this Randy Moss uh, jersey. My boy Moss. just. Went into the Hall of Fame earlier this month. Hall of Famer. So that was pretty cool. So I had to figure out some shoes to rock with them. Yeah, what you do to them? So it's basically my two favorite players. Kobe. They both wear purple and gold. So Imagine boom. that. Boom. These are the Hirachi 2K4 Laser. Laser. Kobe uh, edition. Now these came with two laces, and I've, it was, when I first got them, I just didn't know which lace looked better, the purple ones or the white ones. So I just wore on both. One of each. And uh, like I said, this is, I'm sure you guys probably have seen it, but it's lasered and then it has uh, the Kobe. Those are pretty rare. Strap. I don't think too many people seen those. Uh, yeah, I, I never like seen nobody the, besides you wearing them. What happened was when these came out in 04, it was, uh, it was, they hadn't released them. Obviously, they released the Hirachi 2K4s, but they didn't release these. Kobe wore these. And uh, I remember he rolled his ankle in them and was out. But he had these actually on. Ooh. So three years later, they released the Hirachi these too because he wore these it was a black purple and gray and then it was like a I think it was to go with the Minneapolis Lakers uniforms it was that color and they were all laser they were all laser print oh and there was some black and yellow ones too with white so those came in some of you guys know what I'm talking about but they were all lasered and um laser they were they so came fine. out because people really want them and they all had the eight on the back you know because the Hirachi 2k4 was not yet officially endorsed like Kobe, you know, like Zoom Kobe 1 and Zoom Kobe 2. It's called the Hirachi 2K4. 
So this kind of was where he was starting to get going as far as 2004. But in 2007, he had his own shoe, the Zoom Kobe 2. So they released these. And he wore these the first half of the uh, 07 season, just the, the laser uh, 2K4s. But I just, I feel these are dope to me, man. And like I said, I couldn't figure out which lace looks better. But I have not worn these in a while. I dug them out, man, just to go with the Moss jersey because it goes with them. But uh, I think these are dope in my opinion. Yeah, those are fire with all that laser for sure. I used to love, remember when laser shoes just came out? It just, it was like, it was a, like a phase for them, man. Yeah. And I remember they had a all, it was an all white, my bad. It was also an all white colorway that came out. Kobe wore them in the finals in 04. And uh, then they released those later too. So Get it. With that's the rare my, Kobe. Yeah. For sure, thanks for tuning in to another Sick Lip Beater Box Battle here on the Stone Cold Kicks channel. I gotta say, it was a good day. Two at a time, all the time. Until next time.